thrift haul. It has been a minute since my last thrift haul. As much as I would like to be consistent with them, I am also not made of money, so I'm not exactly in a position to be dumping $100 on clothing every other week. And I also just really haven't needed clothes recently, but since I dyed my hair, that means the vibes have shifted and I need to collect some more clothing. I don't want to seem like I'm a clothing hoarder. I mean, I am a little bit, but I think it's justifiable because my style kind of rotates in the same five different styles. I get really bored if I dress the same for too long, so I'll store some clothing away and then in a year I'll be like, oh! I like that again. Since I cut off my scene hair and it looks kind of weird if I try to go for the scene queen-esque outfits, I've been wanting to add a little bit more Y2K to the equation. I mean, the Y2K, you know. Of course, Y2K is technically late 90s before 2000, but we all know it means early 2000s. The early 2000s have always been and continue to be my favorite time period. This time I tried to make sure that I wasn't buying things that I knew I wasn't gonna wear because a lot of the time I am giving guilty of looking at something and being like, oh, I can alter that and then it will sit in my projects box and I do not alter it. There were a couple things that I bought for the purpose of altering them, but then I altered them immediately after buying them so I didn't forget about it. I don't know, self-improvement perhaps? I've been filming for seven minutes and I've already managed to sweat through my top. Anyway, I got a lot of fun stuff that I'm excited about so I will be putting it on now. Here is my first item. It is a dress. Recently I've been really drawn to these funky little patterns for some reason, and I've also been really drawn towards the brown and neutral muted colors, and maybe it's because fall is approaching and I'm just like settling into the season. I don't know, I've just I've been into neutrals recently, but they have to be fun neutrals. They can't just be like they they have to have fun when i saw this in the store i was like yeah it's cute but like kind of in an ugly way but i don't know i think i can make it work but then i put it on and i was like oh this is just cute i actually just like this there is no irony there is no camp to be had it's just i, I just like the dress so that is a lot less effort for me in terms of styling i'm surprised it fits me too like i am a tiny person i haven't grown since i was about 11 years old so i'm still about around there and therefore finding adult Dresses in my size at a thrift store can be kind of difficult. I usually have to alter them in some way. I found a lot of dresses that actually fit me. I'm really excited about that. I have a bit of a story with this one. I saw it in the store and I was like, oh my God, I really like that pattern. And I just plopped it in my cart. And I could tell it would fit me, but the shape was baggy. Like it was just made to be a poofy sort of dress. And at first there's some sort of tied up situation going on here. And I was like, no, I don't like that. I can just untie it and sew it closed. No, it was a lot more of a big deal than I thought it was. So I had to sew up the top and then this part was all messed up. So I had to sew that closed. I had to undo this entire seam and sew it back up so there wasn't poofiness at the bottom. And then the back was still poofy. So I had to clench the back together and then it still wasn't enough. So then I had to close the sides up even more. It was a lot. This was a full project. I'm not really sure how to wear sheer dresses like this. Like this is over an entire other dress, but I guess this works. I mean, I don't know. My sewing job is anything but perfect, but it is a lot more wearable than it was to begin with, so that's all that matters. Not to mention I got a little practice with sewing as well, and that's always valuable. I mean, I don't know, it turned out pretty well for the lack of knowledge I have in sewing. It's a little messed up in some areas, but you wouldn't notice unless I told you. I got these little shorts. Okay, I did not think my bruise would be that prominent in the camera. I don't know what I did. One would think with a bruise that size, you would remember how you got it, but I, I have no idea. I'm just so used to hurting myself that my brain filters it out when it happens. <laughs> I'm really clumsy, but not in like a detrimental way somehow. Like I'm good at being clumsy. Like my clumsiness is ingrained in my brain, so I just have to learn how to work around it and it's like fine. I think these are supposed to be tied up like little bows. Oh, I don't like that as much. I think I just want to let them dangle. I don't know, that's a little bit more interesting. Usually I would not opt for this sort of comfort short, sport short sort of situation, but I've been really into neon green recently. Like if I see something neon green at the thrift store, I'm probably gonna buy it and I don't know why. And I saw these shorts and I was like, man, 
that looks like something I would wear as a child. And once I thought about that, I was like, okay, these shorts make me happy, so I have to buy them. And it's just a bonus that they're really comfy. I also have this Tinkerbell shirt that I thrifted a few weeks ago weeks? I think it says feisty on it. But I like to pretend it doesn't because I just like the design. I don't want people to think I'm feisty. I'm anything but. Look at my flower jeans. The thing about these jeans though is they do not fit me. They are a little big in the back. They look fine with a belt, but I didn't feel like fetching a belt, so I just pinned them up. I also thrifted these bracelets, and I was going to put them on earlier, but I forgot. I was looking in the jeans section, I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't really need any more jeans, but then I saw these, and I was like, uh oh, those are the jeans. I think they are perfect in every way for what I'm going for. And I'm very grateful to have found them. Also, I did not just magically grow four inches. I have heels on. They are a gray sort of snake skin texture. This is what they look like when I'm not swinging them around on my feet, hoping the camera will pick them up. When I was checking out, the cashier looked at my boots and she was like, nice boots, mama. And I laughed. And then when I was about to leave, she was like, you going to college? I was like, no, not right now anyway. She said, you on break? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> she goes, you go to college, you do it right, you'll be just fine. I was like, okay, and I walked out because I didn't know what to do with that interaction. Sorry, I don't have to go to college if I'm filming thrift hauls on YouTube for a living. Here's a closer view of the detail on the jeans if you were curious. There's also a little flower on my butt. Here's another dress I bought. I've been having to add to my amount of purple clothing that I have because I am now purple. I do think it would be a little cuter if it was shorter, but I kind of don't feel like altering it. I mean, I could tie it up at the side. Is that something people do? No, that doesn't look quite right. I don't think people do that. I'm definitely gonna have to shorten this when I feel like doing that, but I hate sewing, so I don't know when that will ever be. So I got this top, right? And I was like, ooh, those would look really good with some lighter blue jeans. And I found my iconic Miss Me jeans and I realized that they are too small for me. So I can't comfortably wear this out, but I can pose with it for a YouTube video. These jeans are what I would wear if they fit me correctly. This shirt is also too big. I have it knotted up in the back. I was gonna just alter it, but I did not feel like it. This top reminded me of the top that Lizzie McGuire is wearing in that one photo. <laughs> like, you know, the main like promo photo shoot top. And in those pictures, she's wearing some white jeans, I think. I do not own white jeans because I have never had a need for white jeans and I probably will not buy any. Yeah, I don't know. That was my inspo for this. I don't know. It's giving me a mixture of Lizzie McGuire and Sharpe Evans. I also got this top. I know I own a lot of gray leopard print, but I really liked the shape of this top. It felt very early 2000s to me, so I bought it. This is the outfit I would wear if I had a time machine and I could go see the Black Eyed Peas in concert. And I did in the third grade. I did do that, but I was not 20, I was a third grader. Upon further investigation, these jeans might actually fit me, and maybe I just hate low-rise jeans. Because they fit me and I can walk around, but I can feel my skin flopping over on itself every time I move. Low-rise jeans are so stupid. This is why every young woman in the early 2000s grew up with body dysmorphia. Okay, so I have a bunch of stuff going on here. I thrifted this top, this jacket, and these shoes. And I'm only wearing these shorts because I didn't know what else to wear with this. This shirt is definitely for kids. Like, the sizing is for children, but I found it in the women's section. And a lot of the times with baby tees that are obviously children's clothing, you could tell it's children's clothing, but this I think is pretty subtle. Did I get this from the children's place or did I order it off Shein? You know, like I feel like it's not the kind of tops that you'll see Depop girly selling as hashtag Y2K. I think it's just simple and cute. I found this jean jacket, which is a little bit worn down, but I, I mean, I didn't even notice when I bought it. So that means that it's not very noticeable. There's more flowers up here and back here. I was very excited to have found this because usually I don't like wearing jean jackets because I feel like I need to decorate them and I don't know how to decorate them. Like, yeah, patches and all that, but it's so hard to place patches in a way that I know I like. So I'm glad that someone else already did it for me. I also got these shoes. They have a butterfly at the back. These shoes are interesting because I would not have normally bought something like this because I 
do not like open-toed shoes, but when I saw they had a glittery butterfly at the back, I knew I had to make a purchase. Also, these shoes are Michael Kors brand, and I usually don't- I mean, yeah, I guess Michael Kors is technically designer, to my knowledge. There's a lot of his stuff at thrift stores, and it's always ugly, so I don't really count it as like a luxury find. Even- I don't know. I, I haven't looked up the retail on these. Maybe I should. But I do like going for well-known brands because I know then it'll be like a sturdy shoe. I think I paid $13 for these? I don't know. I can't really read it. I feel like Michael Kors is designer for old people and people who shop at Ross. Nothing against people who shop at Ross. Ross is a fine store. Usually when something is at Ross, it means it's kind of going out of style. So I don't know. That's all I know about Mr. Kors. He did do one thing right though. Gotta say. Here's another dress. I can't really explain what I like about this dress. I just do. I usually try to stay away from floral patterns because they aren't really happening anymore. But this isn't as floral as it is funky patterns. I don't know, I just feel like I would see a teenage character on a Disney Channel sitcom wearing it. Normally I feel like I would complain about a dress that's knee length, but I feel like the length suits it pretty well. Not too high, not too low. Okay, here's an interesting one. I got both of these tops at the thrift store, and I can't decide if it's giving me scene kit or shake it up side character. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like this is an outfit I would have put on my Club Penguin character. Like, you know, when the yearly music event came around, I feel like this is a top that I would have seen. You picking up what I'm putting down? I don't know, I still like it though. I think it's vibey to some extent. Kinda looks dumb when I'm far away like that. I don't know, I'm kind of torn about if I should cut this to be a little higher, if I should keep it where it is. Let me know, let me know. There's really nothing interesting to say about this top. It's just a nice little basic, nice neon green. Yeah, I don't know, this is rather boring. I just wanted to enthuse about neon green some more. Here is another basic essential top. I put on some sunglasses to make it seem more interesting than it actually is. And yes, these are broken, thank you for noticing. I got these from Five Below a few months ago, and then I kept them stuffed in my purse, and then the tiny screws fell out. But you know, they're still good for wearing for a second, but they are essentially useless as a pair of sunglasses. I do like how this shirt pairs with these jeans though. I feel like the plainness of the shirt is perfect for my decorated jeans. Here is my final fit. I got this skirt and these shoes. I don't think I love how the shoes look with this outfit, but this is just for demonstration purposes because I did buy them this thrift session. I feel like the only way I can really describe what I was going for with this outfit is like hippie mom, like free spirited mom. Does that make sense? Like I'm not gonna say it's a Y2K exclusive thing, but it is a type of person that I have in my brain. Like, I have met this person before, you know? I've been really into long skirts recently, so I'm glad I got another one. But it does have orange all over it, so it makes it a little bit more confusing to style. I don't own a lot of orange. These are my shoes. I'm not thrilled about them being open-toed, but I do really like the buckle style with the neutral sort of boots. I feel like I always try to find a pair of shoes like this every time I go to a thrift store, but this is the only pair that I've actually liked when I've been looking for them. I feel like neutral boots to just an essential to have and I've not had any up until this point. Thank you for coming to my thrift haul. I'm glad I get to spend money for your enjoyment and mine. And again, I have to make this clear. Do not expect me to post these often. I only need so many clothes as one person. And yeah, I think my work here is done. Thanks. Bye.